Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy! And welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Chapter 5, Fifth Trial, Episode 36. First half of the trial. 1A. 1A, yes. Uh, what okay. are we gonna get? Oh, let's just nothing. go ahead and. We're not gonna get any more go. skills. Okay, let's, let's do this. Go. Let's just do it. This is a doozy of a trial. Let's do it. Okay, Samugi. Ahem! Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. Look at all the dead monocubs. <laughs> During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is okay. and vote for who done, it. done it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person. Look, there's a question mark by Kaito. <gasps> I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. His voice is so deep. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Co uh, Kokichi has it too. Wah! Cause for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim, the other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. All right. Let's do this. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi, so he could have killed him whenever he wanted and the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. Uh, no evidence, was it? And Kokichi's the culprit clothes? must be Kokichi! You asked a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. Kazing! Kazing! <laughs> there's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to be Kaito. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's just slow. I couldn't remember. It's a. Uh, can't be the her. victim because there's no evidence. There's no evidence for it. That's wrong! Counter! Ding dong, y'all are wrong. Ooh, good one. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. 
there are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Or... Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Kaito, or Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate that the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. I think that she doesn't want to think that Kaito is alive because then that means he could be the mastermind. Mm. I think she's more afraid of that possible truth than him being dead. Boom! Yep. Kimmy figured it out. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. There's something peculiar. The sleeve? That's it! Got it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? What did she say? Shall I kill that logic? Ooh. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Whoa. Yeah! The Bell Showdown, Truth Blade. <clears throat> Let's see. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press oh, is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else but Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He nice. never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand, then be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Hmm. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is down that evidence. He Man, always dressed so himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words! Which one did you, did you use? Did you just dab? No, I went like this. Yes. Oh, I like, thought you went like... Through the word. He'll never put his no. arms through his sleeve. I just fling it up there. It looks like I'm tossing a bag. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Oh, he did? Yeah. What a nerd. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? I mean... Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. So is yours! So is Kaito's sleeve. Oh! Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's got to be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. 
Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? It's too we soon. We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. What? Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please be Kaito, please be Kaito, please be Kaito. What? Why is an exosol here? Haha, <laughs> whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kikichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh. Instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? That's what you're talking about right now, Himiko. I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> you're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself! Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera! It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Well, what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. Oh. <laughs> he was already dead. Ew. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. I'm gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button, so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, 
crushed in the hydraulic press is definitely Kaito. Hmm. Was that... Was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop Sounds it! Sounds like she was laughing. No, I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... Why? Why was Kaito... killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... you. Huh? Why? <laughs> you filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind. But I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? <laughs> That's not how this goes. That's dope it. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the Mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. I think... Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Duh. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. 
It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? Did Maki kill him? But why? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Hmm. What a horrible video. We, we want to Whoever counter committed crush that to death crime. with safety function. Because yeah. he wasn't crushed to death. Was with Kaito no. in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? No. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Right. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. That's wrong! Got crushed to death. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. Sometimes it's like half the cast doesn't even investigate. Yeah, no, because they don't. Himiko was standing right next to it the entire time. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So, so what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and the Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Oh. It was the slight pattern blood stain. Right? Hmm. No? Slight pattern blood stain? Let's try it. Wait, no, 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 no. Well, we've only got 40 seconds, so what else could it be? I mean, it would be the crossbow and the and the. He said he found it around the hydraulic press, though. Oh, okay. Then you do what you know. It could be Kaito's coat. Mhm. Mm it's either Kaito's coat or swipe pattern blood stain. Okay, right, let's try it. This is it. Okay. Whew. I was right. Yay. Okay. Good. I should have. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. You know, we might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. His jacket sleeve with the hole. Okay. There! Had to make sure it was exactly on point. 
it really sensitive? The small hole know. on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The, the small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Himiko, what's wrong? It's totally. Why are you Himiko. freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. The three arrows from the crossbow. So I got hung up on this too. It's it's actually the crossbow. Okay. Not the arrows, because I answered arrows and they were like, what? The arrows? And it's just like, yes, they were shot out of the crossbow. But it says what weapon, so. Okay, crossbow. This is it! Yeah, I was so annoyed when that <laughs> Oh, that would have pissed me off too. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. See, exactly. Like, he even specifies the arrow. Yeah. And it's like... Whatever. Anyway. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, how about <laughs> Kaido getting shot? If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Whoa, I'm determined. Never. Hope? Despair? I like that it's Exasol Kukichi. It's what? The character name is Exasol Kukichi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. Himiko! What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? Mm. Yeah, the shot would the need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Nope. Window. Uh. It's, yeah. That's wrong! We're rocking it! I love how we're just attacking Maki with everything. Yeah. Shut up, Maki. Going in the hangar, You're no shit! It was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. How, Shuichi? There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. I feel like Kimiko could be there. that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! But the crossbow was in the back. What did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people? Even when they're friends? You kill friends, so... It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. <laughs> of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now, let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? See? Now that's definitely weird. 
look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can't comment. Just keep going. The SWAT Just team knocks down the door. Just keep we can going. Pretty Just much keep narrow going. it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. You carried it. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. I love that. It, like, <laughs> she's like inappropriate comment. But I don't know anything about all of this. <laughs> yeah. You can't suspect me. Like, yeah. girl, just shut up. I know, right? Just try to get attention well, away from you, you idiot. Kibo just threw under the bus. Good. Go, Kibo. <laughs> Whoa, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay. Then the culprit is Himiko. Wait! Don't say it's me! Maki's more suspicious than I am! What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted! Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. you make that scary face at me. I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! <laughs> Why am I a suspect? Anyone oh, no. could have entered my research lab. Here we go. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay. Maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I am the culprit! The culprit. <laughs> just ignore Kokichi. Yeah. <laughs> He's just chaos. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Kibo's account. I Why is Maki the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. The I was only the one who my magic. Are there any yellows? yellows? No. I'm looking. There's a good I know he could have gotten it from your research lab. Then who actually went oh, there empty-handed? Oh, yeah! Good job! I heard it. I just imagine like they're all talking and Shuichi's like, "You said that you went to I the heard it. empty handed yeah. but that's a lot." Like sees numbers isn't it? around his eyes. Yeah, yeah, like he's calculating in his yeah. head. What are you talking about? Ooh, 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 it's not a lie. Kimmy's on her phone. I sure am. What are you doing? <laughs> She's looking up food. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry again. <laughs> we'll eat at the intermission. Yes. Or we'll order food at the intermission. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Hmm. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. N no, that was probably Tsumugi cosplaying as me. <laughs> oh no, here we go. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. Himiko, always on the hot seat. I know. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Girl, use your words. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there. I didn't shoot it. It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Shut up, Kokichi! Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! <laughs> that is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. I'm not the culprit! Okay. 
Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Carried the case. Yep, yep, yeah. that's true too. She wouldn't know how to assemble it, would she? Right. I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. Right. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! Why does this it must all be. sound so fishy? Ah, oh, shut up! Get out of my head, Cookie G! Uh, would it be Exosols with the hammer? No, because she wasn't seen carrying the hammer. No, it's. I think it's gotta be she couldn't have shot the crossbow because she couldn't have disassembled it. Because she didn't know Re how. Reassembled it? Yeah, or yeah, reassembled. Yeah. yeah. From its disassembled state in the case. Right. So, would it just be crossbow? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I was yeah. trying to figure out, like, what truth bolt to use. I bet it's crossbow. To hit Kaito with the crossbow, you have to be fairly good with it. Can you have done this? That's the question. Okay. Not the culprit. Also, I'm not sure she's tall enough to reach that yeah, window. I totally agree. I only carried the case. Alright, so that's fine. Yep, yep. That's true, too. You want to agree with this one. I didn't even use the That's hard to get. What? That's very mm -hmm. hard to get. Okay. <laughs> Kakichi, watch out. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, okay. I only carried the case. It's like yep, it yep. was actively That's avoiding you. No. Got it. Nice. Okay. I agree. Okay, and that's right. Good, good, good. Good job. I was like, should I go for the V consent? Mm. No. I don't no. think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. <laughs> couldn't use it? Because she's an idiot. Because no. she's short. The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. <laughs> Cause she's a Kaito girl. and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have Hilarious. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. <laughs> Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. You. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! <laughs> she changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Well, shut up. No then, one cares. Why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was. The person who asked Himiko to bring the crossbow. I too. That's it! Was it... Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. <laughs> but I like you. <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. <laughs> okay. But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito's trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. That was all yesterday. Right? <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll do something about it. I had a promise. Why didn't he just ask him to do it? I got to work so hard. I got to do my work. Really good. 
thing. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. But then Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. <laughs> yeah, This is Himiko. way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was a... Uh, you know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorms. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. It's the... Bloodstain? It's Kaito's coat. Because they both... Because their clothing showed that they both got shot. Now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, try Kokichi's oh my God. clothes. I, I, I did the wrong one. I, I forgot oh, no. what I was refuting. Okay. So Kokichi's clothes. Yeah. yeah. Damn, this we had a it. perfect record till then. That's okay. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. Like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but it doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? The poison! If so, what does she know? The Maybe poison! Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Hmm. Kokichi's got to still be alive since the killing game's still going. Hmm. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Ooh. Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! 
The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. Luminary. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? <laughs> Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that! Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaito's alive after all. You know, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question. And soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... <gasps> what? Kokichi. Most of the evidence we have now shows that Kaito is the victim. I want to marry Shoichi. You guys, are gonna, you guys are gonna say it with confidence. I can't look away from the truth. Shit. So Kaito. I wanted it to be Kokichi. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Despair will never die! <laughs> now, the Ultimate All right, Academy you ready? is proud to present <sighs> its very own More Phenomenal Trial Grounds! We gotta get ready for our All big right. debut. Let's give it everything we've got! I oh, suspect done. that Kaito is inside the Exosol. Um, I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. Okay. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Lucky. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed, crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's arrow. shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but I got oh. this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim oh, that Kaito damn it. is still yeah, alive. It was mastermind. It, both Why of those are you words. So opposed to Kaito being alive. I got tricky. this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that it's Kaito okay. is still it's alive. Okay. <sighs> I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... We are consistent. Our position looks weak. Kaito is dead. I like how it's like Maki and Shuichi against I suspect the other that three. Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes What's out annoying the is like, when you press up, you go that. down, and when you press down, you go up. He said that he can't leave the yeah. Exosol because he's injured. Maki! 
Anyone it's inverted controls, and I don't know why. That claim. That's so weird. Yeah. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. It's in the right order now. So not but there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's That's shirt. True. I got this. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but Lucky. the Mastermind is still alive inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this. Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Okay. Oh. Y. X. B. A. Jeez. This is our answer. It's just the two of them. I don't want to believe it. Oh, In a way, I still can't. But the evidence. The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. That was just a little joke. What a sick joke! <laughs> You're still an asshole. Duh. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! The timeline? Hmm. When the crossbow fired... Electro, like hammer, maybe first. What was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. Huh? He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi, too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, hmm. and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! What? But only one crossbow was taken. Yeah, that's true. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. Oh no, 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 So no. how could they both shoot each other? Three were fired. By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. What, what was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fired- You should have said wounds first of all. It should go against the information we all have, Himiko. Yeah, why did she say just one arrow was shot? That's stupid. We just established that they both got shot. Okay. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was shot. That's wrong. That's wrong. You're dumb, Himiko. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? 
Naruto even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What is going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Oh, Hangman's hey Gambit. All right. Here we oh, Psych Taxi. Okay. Can I do it? Hey, I think. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Did someone else give it to him? Mm. Oh, that was really stinky. Maybe I should. <laughs> this is a very narrow one. This is. Yeah, you got all those. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? One. Okay, which girl do I need to hit? One. Okay. It'll tell you, with, like, which one is which. Right. One. How do I select it? Turn. Turn. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ew! I got a kiss! Good! So gross. Oh, wider street this time. That's nice. Oh, I missed it! You need to play more Mario Kart. Dude. I got that, boy. What did you just say? Boy. Okay, Flava Flav. Oh, oh, nice. <gasps> this is Monokuma. Oh, I missed it. Hit Monokuma, you missed it. Were all the arrows inside the hangar? Wait, there's more to it. Get out my way, asshole! That's how I drive on the street. Oh my god. I'm kidding! I'll go get a smooth. I'll be back. Do Whenever what? you're done. Were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? Hmm. I'm gonna go with no. Okay. Try no. I don't like it when you do that. It makes me feel like I'm gonna be wrong. No, try no. Fine. And go for yes! Yay! Cause they would've been in, uh... They would've been in her, uh... Yeah. Her what? Uh, lap. Mm. Shit. 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 Get there eventually. That's not really condescending, sorry. That was really condescending. No, I was, it was to meant to be encouraging. How was that? I wasn't explaining I know, anything. I'm teasing! I know, but I'm playing along. It's part of the bit. I'm teasing! Oh, very loud without the headphones. Thank you. Very Fuck loud everything! No, you just... I didn't actually mean to do that. That's the sad part. Who brought the other two arrows? I think it was uh, our dear friend Maki. Maki. Back on the road now. Shall we call this thinking time? My Nagito voice has really suffered. 
Dungeon. Uh, third party? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Take that. It connects. It connects. Could it be that the additional that. arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? <gasps> That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. <sighs> so the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way. Some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. The console? What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? In the Exosol? Okay, let's see. Hammer? I can't tell. Yeah, I think so. No, Exosol. Exosol. Oh, no. Oh, red. Oh, I'll just get lucky. L. I see now. That's it. The Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. Hmm. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party pilot? He just like piloting? watched everything happen. I know. By the way, well, he I just want to confirm that. something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an Exosol. After all, the hangar is where the Exosols are supposed to be stored. Yes or no? It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an Exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an Exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the Exosol every time you have to put it away. We get it. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an Exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an Exosol and infiltrated the hangar. It's like every once in a while the game is just like, let's do something inappropriate to make sure the person's still paying attention, you know? Yeah, and then they have either Samugi or Himiko go like, what? Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes Tenko would do it. Right, just to like or keep you in the game. Kibo, yeah, there's certain characters. Yeah, it. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Hmm, is it Maki? Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? What do you know? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me?
If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know nipples. how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. Right. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. Wait, no. There's no way to stop an Exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. No. You're right, it's impossible. It's not impossible. There is one way to stop an Exosol. I had to show them. If someone was piloting the Exosol, isn't it the Electro Bomb? They could have used it to enter the hangar. Or used Electro Hammer. That's not possible. Used Electro Hammer. Yeah, because they said. <laughs> it's Kibo. Yeah. Thank you. The hangar, there were four Exosols. And they were all moving too. Okay. I was controlling them remotely. Electro Hammers weren't an option. Okay. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. Got it. That's wrong! Boom! Good job. I'm very smart. You're the smartest boy in the world. Well, not all of the electro hammers <laughs> were being charged. No one's no one's gotten this far in Dangrova V3. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Ever before. I've gotten here twice. <laughs> they all get stunk by that one. Yeah. <laughs> I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Sure Maybe was. Use it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. Hmm. And that's why there's when the I open saw one them last the afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. The electro hammer gives us a clue. Hmm. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were only three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. Maki! Maki! It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. Oh, she's just like... Yeah. <laughs> it runs out of battery pretty quickly. It'll run out of juice with just one shot on an extra song. The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning, Right, she didn't have her electro hammer. Oh, I'd rather not use the weapon. She has the knife. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosol with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll kill your logic. She had a different expression that time than last Why time. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? 
Maki, what are you? Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. Is she trying to get all of you killed? I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit. You have to fight her again. I know, right? Poison? You're right. Oh. I use the electro hammer. Oh Whoa. my gosh. And I use the exosol to enter the hangar too. Oh my god. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. That's right. Okay, I can't back down You're here. Right. I use the electro Poison? hammer. And I use the exosol yeah. to enter the hangar too. I this also shot the crossbow the there. Weapon. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. There we go. Okay. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. Ah! They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Oh. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Hmm. Let's see, what? I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. The way she's scrambling to defend herself. The arrows left holes in her clothes. Think what about the it? locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Poison? Yeah. An arrow to each of those spots. But like, what do I... Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Fatal injury. Oh, okay. I'll cut through your I words. thought I did that earlier, that's all. But I guess I missed it? Yeah, okay. it sneaked past. Or snuck it past. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. <gasps> the poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. So she accidentally shot Kaito, didn't she? Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? But there's no way she is! Because why would she kill Kaito? Ah, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... Kaito. Or... All of us. All That's the it. above. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now. But this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. 
We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. <laughs> a truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining the mood. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Oh. Intermission. Intermission. All right. Well, we're gonna save here. What do you think of the trial so far? It's good. I like. <laughs> I like the exosol jumping between. Uh, yeah. The characters. It's really yeah. funny. It is. It is kind of cool how they like. Keep it really vague about it, whether or not the victim is Kaito or Kokichi. I know, it just would have been a lot more exciting. Whoops, sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, it would have been a lot more exciting if uh, if Kokichi was the one who died. Because it feels just really predictable for Kokichi to be in the Exosol. Mm. Am I saying that right? Exosol. Exosol. Yeah. Uh, instead of Kaito. Right. But I guess, what are they going to do? Luminary of the stars. Well, uh, the second half of the trial will be posted tomorrow. Uh, you guys don't want to miss it, so make sure you hit that notification bell. That's right. Like, comment, subscribe, so you never miss an upload. Good job. YouTubers always say that. I know. They're like, hit that notification bell, so you never miss an upload. I watch YouTube videos, too. You never miss an upload. Hit, comment, part. and subscribe. I love that. Hit, like. You never want to miss like, an upload. And subscribe. Maybe they just don't want to click on everything you do. <sighs> Brutal maybe, truth bombs from that's John. It. All right. We'll There's see like 35,000 of my subscribers that don't click on Dangarampa videos. It's okay. Are they just missing my uploads? <gasps> They're missing my uploads. Maybe they don't like it when you're not by yourself doing horror games. Maybe they just don't want to watch it. <laughs> Maybe they have their that own opinions, a, and it's maybe fine. Maybe they just have something else to do. Maybe <gasps> other people will watch besides you all the time. Okay, we'll see you guys. We'll, <laughs> we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Think critically.